Hello and welcome to another Frasier tutorial. In this lesson, we'll be walking you through how some of the basic tasks in the software automatically post to your general ledger, thus eliminating the need for you to make manual posts or adjustments. Let's try an example. Example one, adding a vehicle. So let's quickly add a vehicle to our inventory. To do this, let's start by grabbing the VIN of the vehicle we want to enter. Once we have that, we can enter the information into the VIN field and you'll see that Frasier automatically uses that to pre-fill details about the vehicle so you don't have to. Now that we have all the details about the vehicle, let's go ahead and add the price that we purchased this vehicle for. In this case, it would be $5,000. When you're done, click on Save Vehicle to finalize this entry. Now let's go back into the vehicle and print the general ledger or GL to see what transactions occurred. You can now see that when this vehicle was added, Fraser automatically created a general ledger account to increase your 1450 inventory account and a related decrease to our 1000 checking account or cash and bank. This transaction happened automatically when we added the vehicle to our inventory. Let's try another example. Example two, added costs. This time, let's go ahead and add a cost to the vehicle, an extra $100 for reconditioning. So let's start by opening the added cost window. From this screen, you can manage all your costs. In this case, the car needed new windshield wipers, so we thought we'd soup it up a bit and add the gold plated ones. So let's go ahead and add those amazing wipers now by clicking the add cost button. We can now go ahead and add these excellent wipers by filling in all the appropriate fields and selecting the vendor we purchased these wipers from. Let's show that we paid for the wipers with our 2005 accounts payable credit card. All right, let's save this added cost and return to the vehicle screen. You can now see that the wipers have been added to the vehicle cost, but how does this affect the general ledger? All right, let's print the GL text again. Now we can see that there's an increase to our 1450 inventory and a related increase to our 2005 accounts payable credit card, which has been added to our general ledger. These are the type of transactions that will automatically post to your general ledger with you doing nothing more than adding inventory to Fraser. Now let's try another example. Example three, sale. Let's enter a cash sale into Fraser and see how that affects the general ledger. Let's start by adding the vehicle we want to sell. With a selling price of $10,000, tag in temp fees of $28 and the automatically calculated appropriate sales tax for our state. So let's go ahead and complete the sale. Once that's done, we can now view the deal through customer activity and see how it affected the general ledger. We see an automatic decrease to our inventory by the cost of the vehicle, increasing our 4500 and 4510 cost of sales account, increasing our 3500 income account for the amount of the sale, increasing appropriate liability account for the amount of the license and registration fee, an increase to the sales tax liability account for the amount of the tax that we collected. In addition to those accounts, an increase to our cash in house or undeposited funds was also made in the amount that was collected from the customer. Understanding how some of these general ledger entries are automatically being posted is one of the first steps in understanding how your account is being managed in the software. And as always, thank you for choosing Fraser. If you'd like to check out more Fraser tutorials, head over to YouTube and search for Fraser help. And don't forget, if you're into all things Fraser and all things DMS, be sure to check out and subscribe to our new Fraser podcast called Phraseology.